<laughs> now I'm just going to transfer that pity onto Ryu versus Turnip Boy, who have to follow both those matches in a very tight bronze division. Uh, Shep's at the point now where I believe they finish in first uh, if they manage to win. Pox is looking at second. So it's Turnip Boy and Ryu with 18 points, uh, along with David W., I think it is. And this is their final match, I think, for the entire division, actually, for all of bronze, which has been crazy this year. And if Ryu can score a win, he's going to finish in second over Poxo with a tiebreaker. Whereas if Turnip oh, wow. Boy wins, it's going to be third because they lost their tiebreaker to Pox. So this is a big deal, especially because we don't actually know if the winner of bronze is going to participate in the tournament of placement or whether or not they're just going to take the automatic promote. And whether or not they do one or the other means this match could have massive implications. Okay. Let me just breathe for a second, because that was nuts. <laughs> that was nuts. That was nuts. Iron was nuts this year. Bronze is just as nuts, though. It's just about to get crazier. I don't know if I'm ready for it, but we're going anyways. Ryu starting things off by banning out High Rise, any three of five. Turnip Boy bans Ballroom, any four of eight. All right, yeah, Ryu has banned High Rise and Balcony all season. Just those two, so you see what they're trying to avoid. Yep, absolutely. Ryu picks up Gallery, four of eight. Turnip Boy picks up Aquarium. Oh, boy. Ryu gets ten. Oh, my God. <laughs> Turnip Boy gets Bub. We're in there, track. All right, let's do it. I can't wait. <laughs> it's it's going to be a fun cast. Let's see how things turn out. Turnip Boy opening things up on the spy side of the gallery. Rio on the sniper in three, two, one, playing it. Turnip Boy can manage a draw. He's going to finish third in bronze, which is a good place to be sitting potentially for that tournament of placement. Again, depending on the decisions people make about entering the tournament or not, Rio, though, needs a win. So Turnip Boy's enter looking for a win or a draw. Rio really needs a win. Little bit of a slow start from Turnip Boy can be a bit worrying on this map. Yeah, certainly. But Turnip Boy completes Seduce over 70% of the time. They're very good. They pace very well, and they have great party awareness. Good on fingerprint. Fingerprint's almost 32% of the time. That is high, in case you're wondering, for fingerprint. Turnip Boy just really good at steady mission progress, and it's one of the reasons they're good at gallery. Very good briefcase redirect. Almost got high lit for the weirdness, but once Rio saw what was going on, Brought him back down again. Time ad at the front gets caught for it. That's pretty rough. I should mention, by the way, when I say they're good at gallery, I mean that they tend to make a lot of good progress. It hasn't actually resulted in as many spy wins this season for whatever reason. But every time I watch their gallery games, I can't figure out how they manage to lose because they always seem to be in a strong position. But that's one potential explanation because, as you mentioned, Rio is all over that time ad. Oh, and we get sunshined. Okay, so this game is uh, just went from bad to worse. Yeah, this is, this is not how you want your match red. to start out. Fake contact, though. That's not nothing. So what's interesting is that I don't know if they know they're a big suspect or not, but that is actually the kind of thing you would do if you could see the sniper side right now. You'd say, I'm yeah. in big trouble. I got I to gotta throw, throw a wrench into this a little bit. I got to do something atypical, something that doesn't fit the narrative, and they actually have. So it might be good awareness. Yeah, suspected double agent not in conversation with him, so it puts a lot of heat on that front conversation. Lots of lowlights, though. Lots and lots and lots of lowlights. It's a big trade, but as we know, their odds of winning that game were already so low just based on that time ad potentially that this actually might be the best way to play it, whether it works or not. So, what do you think we do? We pull a purloin in the back, show a hard tell, and just wait and see what Rio does? Maybe, maybe you wait for a suspected bug, maybe you wait for fingerprint. Uh, it depends on how much of a suspect they think they are. The fact that they're going to statues at all, though, mm, I think a better thing to do would be to try to wait for someone to go to one of these swap. Yeah, I was going to say it's swap. It's a red swap! It's a red swap! <laughs> it's completely behind white dress, though. So maybe it'll be, I, I'm trying to see, was there anyone there before? Because I was literally in the process of saying that they need to try to frame someone for a swap. And I'm looking, and I don't think anyone was there. I don't think they were tracked. It's nope. it's bad. This is it's they were. yeah, yep, yep, yeah. Yeah. Okay. One o Rio. Okay. 
Uh, I actually think the idea of a swap is actually their best option there, but you have to wait for someone to be facing away from the sniper. Hopefully someone that you're pretty confident is already some kind of suspect, and you just have to try to frame them for a green. That's the best thing you can do. Yeah, either way, it's Rio on the spy now as Smallman on gallery. Turn it, boy, on the sniper in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, I don't and think that man, was it seems like we always, always get at least one Smallman game when it's gallery. Out of four? Yeah, if it's doubled, I think we usually do. Smallman very exposed to open the game, so turn it, boy, knows he's existing. <laughs> Knows he's in the party. That's not always the case. Sometimes an entire minute passes and then the sniper goes, wait, Smallman's here? <laughs> oh, oh God. no. Well, I just assume they have three missions done then. Yeah. Wow. Rio playing very up in the sniper's face as Smallman to open things up. Goes to front statue facing the sniper for a pair of inspects as the first thing. Yep, that's the first thing that's happened. There's 250 left on the clock, and seduction targets at bookshelves, too. So we can't even necessarily chase, and we're not that fleet of foot to begin with. Can't be with legs that short. Nope. I don't care what kind of shape you're in, Smallman. It's just physics. Rio on the way to the back. Steps in. In not the position you want to be in as Smallman, but... You just had Seek tucking right behind you, so you've got a fair bit of cover. You've got 51% on the flirt now. And, and you've got, you've a, green. got a green purloin. Banana bread. Literally hiding behind Seek, I think. And you're, it's Fake just gonna be contact to try to cover for it as we step away to the green bookcase. Purloin has gone off. Wow. So what's funny is they were crammed in with Seek. Seek they were hiding behind Seek, literally. And then Seek takes the drink, so now they're hiding behind Seek metaphorically, too. Seek yeah. is just taking all the flack here, potentially. That's the goal. The goal is get this nice man shot. And now we're in the back of the conversation where it's so hard to see us. Unfortunately, the people in the front are both low lit. Oh, and the drink taker takes the drink outside. Second time tonight we've seen that. That can really compound the suspicion. But here's the thing. Both of these spies and snipers are at a high enough level that they both know that, which in a way makes it matter less. Rio back at green bookcase yet again. This time puts it away innocently yet again. It's interesting. That book grab was so quick and the path into the conversation was so awkward that I thought it was like a, just a moment to moment considered book dump in the in the wake of the BB and the purloin. But they decided to just put it back and now we're running short on time. They're clearly hoping that this purloin just induces a shot. And it might. It might. It's hard to hold a shot when there's a purloin on the table. I don't think we've contacted yet, though. We're going to need to do that at some point, but there is no suspected double agent in the back. <laughs> Here comes Wheels. If he enters the conversation, this could be a godsend, and indeed he does. Do Where's we he? hit the fake? Seek is out front with the real double agent. This There's would be it. Fake. Right as Seek enters with the real double agent. It's perfectly no shot. timed. Nope. There it is. He does take a shot. It's on Walt of all people. And Rio goes up by two. I think there's just a lack of confidence about the actual purloin. Walt around the general area. He's a highlight and the BB fits. I really like that Ryu had really noticed Seek there, I think, out front. Obviously, they're the taker, so you don't know if they're a suspect or not, but you know the taker is a potentially a big suspect, and that's all you know is spy. So they were clearly trying to bank on that with Seek out front, but it works just as well. When you get away with the green purloin, sometimes they only narrow it down to three or four people. And that is a strong start for Rio. That's exactly what he wants. Turn it, boy. Back under the gun, both literally and metaphorically. He steps into the spy shoes. Rio on the sniper, up by two. In three, two, one, playing it. And that that two zero lead seems no. <laughs> nope. That two zero lead seems big, and it is. But it's not as big as it seems because again, Rio's playing for the win, and Turnip Boy's playing for the draw. 
So he needs that 2-0. It's closer to, it's like 1.5 to 0.5 in a way, is kind of what it's more like. First flirt coming off of the paintings for 31%. That is a sad number because that means you can't three flirt on white tests. You know that famous song, 31 is the loneliest number? Yeah, that, that's definitely how that goes. Mm -hmm. I have an excellent memory. I'm sure of it. <laughs> now we're out front at the front windows. This has been a slow start from Turnip Boy, but it doesn't go for any time ad shenaniganry. I have confidence Turnip Boy is going to make progress one way or the other. They always do. We're opening things up at statues. Should be able to get both inspects here. Green test on the first one. Assuming Papa Danger puts this thing down. There it goes. Yeah, it'd be fine either way, certainly, because if you're planning on going back, you're going to get another chance. But just reduces the number of things that can go wrong late. And as we've seen earlier tonight, things can go pretty wrong late. Absolutely. Does indeed get both inspects done, so we've got two of those and the one flirt. But we are going to need a green on one of the next two, as I was saying. Actually, we might be able to get a flirt out windows here. It's going to be tight, but maybe? Oh. No, not quite. It was green, too, so that hurts a bit. Yeah, that was going to be put us up into the 80s, and now we're still stuck at that lonely 31 again, and we've got two inspects and only... 31% of a flirt, and Queen goes all the way back there. She is bouncing from one to the other. She's not just moving. She's moving very far away when she moves. Only a minute and 45 to play as well, and we don't have a single mission completion yet. We only have the one flirt. This is a bad, bad situation for Turnip Boy. There's the green. You hit it again, just inside rather than out. Well, you take those. We're at 82% now, but the time is our enemy. Not necessarily the percent here. Banana bread. Contact comes off on a fake. Hmm. I think he's just going to try to frame somebody. I don't think he's going to try to finish missions here. There's it's not excellent. enough time. It's interesting. It's a really full conversation with an SDA, and there's three people out front with the DA. So it really didn't let off too much. If you're going to fake, you could do a lot worse than that. Absolutely. But we're under a minute now and still no mission completions. I don't think we're going to complete. Well, Ryu's going to come close one way or the other, I think, if he determines that the shot's not going to come off. And at this point, he probably does have to conclude that. He could frame Kane here. Oh, and he oh. flashes on Kane just as I say that. This is a perfect place to frame Kane. It's going to be a, a backs-facing statue. He could fake the green swap. He's not going for a fake swap. 20 seconds. Get in this conversation, Kane. Oh no, he's not getting in conversation. It's 13 seconds. Down to 10. Kane is just hanging out at front windows. I don't think he's going to do anything worth taking a shot for. And now it's going to be overtime either way. I don't think a shot is coming off. Impressive. Now, Rio was able to hold on to it, and now he's up by three. Rio had not timed out this season yet. I was saying all game, oh, I'm confident he's going to make progress, and that is why. Because I've seen him play, he makes steady progress, and he has zero timeouts this season. And there it is. That's that's Rio or Turnip Boy? Sorry, sorry Turnip Boy. I meant to say Turnip Boy. Turnip Boy wow. has not timed. That is his first time out this season. And it, it wasn't a bad one. one either. It wasn't a bad play. It just, there wasn't quite enough for Rio to take that shot. Wow. I mean, I'm kind of impressed. I, I think, I think that's actually a pretty good play. I think Ryu probably knows Turnip Boy's reputation and it's an okay thing to bank on. I think at the end though, if he faked that swap, ooh, I think that would have been so powerful because Turnip Boy finishes. That's one of the defining things about his, his spy play. And he yeah. banks on the timeout. But Ryu rises to the occasion, and he's up 3 nothing. And now he's on the spy side looking to sweep uh, Gallery to try to get himself into the second place spot in the division. Turnip Boy from the sniper side needs badly to make something happen here in 3, 
two, one, playing it. And three, one isn't terrible if you're playing for the draw, but four, oh, sure is. Yeah. Three, one is doable. I am. I'm genuinely shocked. We got a timeout from Turnip Boy. I really am. I just. I did not think that was possible. But I guess against an opponent who probably knows your style by now, who's been studying you at the end of the year, that would be the time to bust it out and play against type. Well, Rio opens things up by pulling out a blue book. And he's just going to hang out at a painting with it. Might just go for the transfer here. And he does indeed. There's the head turn. It's on camera. Actually bails on it. Wow. That was worst of both worlds. We got yeah. the head turn and we didn't get the transfer off. And Rio knows it. Obviously trying to get that done as quickly as possible. But that's just a little too quick and it doesn't take. That's pretty rough. Now the question is. Do we change it up and do we dump this in green instead? It's not exactly clean, clean. It's not outside, but it was off camera for a while, and it might be clean enough. Yeah, I think I think dumping it in green is the way to go. But for now, we're in the back of the conversation, picking up 34% on the flirt. No, we're just going back to blue. Maybe we go for it with the cover of Rocker? That's it. Exactly what we do. It's a green test, but the test gets caught. And Turnip Boy gets himself on the board. Yeah, and that's got to be a big sigh of relief, at least. You needed that win badly, and it's always nice to get a nice, quick, easy sniper win like that. Two microfilm attempts. One doesn't take. Nothing happens. One does take, and they're shot. And now Turnip Boy is going to wade into Aquarium, and suddenly, with this deficit, probably glad you're playing it. Yeah, absolutely. Things can happen on this map. It's one that people aren't as used to yet as it's the newest one in the game. It wasn't in the first half of this SCL season. But people have gotten plenty of time and plenty of practice, so it's not a huge unknown anymore. But because of that shark, it's still swingy. Let's see what Turnip Boy can make of it. In three, two, one, playing it. And Turnip Boy finished third on the first day of the Shark Weekend tournament here on Aquarium to test out the new venue. Went 26 and 16 on that first day. So yep. really good stuff. Did not make the finals, lost the semifinals to Lazy Bear, but a really good showing, and that's probably one of the reasons he's picked it. Bottom Shark opening. Turnip Boy heading off from the blue bookcase where everything went off innocently over to the seduction target and the double agent. Flirt comes off for 34%, but lots of people in conversations. Now's not a bad time. It's not bad at all. And the BB and underrated part of Aquarium, everybody thinks about crazy bugs and purloins and swaps being covered by the shark, but that BB is actually a really, really big deal. There are, if you are patient, you can get excellent banana breads off on this venue had a moment for it but the moment's gone and now we're a little bit behind the curve because we're just the time is not being kind to us we just have the one flirt still now we're finally we're heading into bar so we might be able to get a little bit more progress off this or just a delegate And uh, Rio is... I like Rio's like <laughs> leaning around the uh -huh. shark trying to yeah, get a hands yeah. on the ambassador. That's just how that straight works. up purloins. Doesn't even take a delegate, just takes the list. Wow. Okay, let me take a look here. They left, let me see. They left when Taft talked. So if they're fr if they're trying to look like if they're trying to frame someone, it's Taft. Green fingerprint off the drink as well. That's kind of nice. I like that. You get the green fingerprint, and hopefully you frame someone else. And look, yeah, look at the highlights. They have definitely noticed who could have done this. Taft Banana has not red. moved since, though. That's a little rough. Contact comes off. Taft splits from a conversation with a suspected double agent in it. We pick up a green flirt for 84%. This is looking okay. That could not have gone better. You're absolutely right. He split right afterwards. That was perfect. Taft being very useful so far. A very useful foil if we want to get someone shot. And it sure feels like we do, but with the fingerprint, we do have options. 
Do another one here now, I guess. Conversation with the real double agent now. Here comes the contact. We've got about half the party low the lit. And with Taft in for both, yep. Excellent. Only one more low light comes off out of that. It's a decent trade here. You get another, you get Taft in another one. The Venn diagrams of who could have done a, a banana bread each time, Taft is in both of those circles now. That's what you want to see. So, so is Turnip Boy, though. One minute left. How does Rio react to this? Well, he showed incredible patience on that gallery game, even given Turnip Boy's reputation. But Aquarium is another animal altogether. 45 seconds. We're not done the flirt yet. We're not done the fingerprint yet. We have progress on both. You could fingerprint and swap maybe off that statue if the timing lines up. I don't think it's going to. The shark has already passed, and that means the moment has to. And we just take a shot for picking up the statue, crediting the flirt, and Queen could have been done, so the shot comes off. So has good control of the purloin. I think the Taft frame was plausible, but Taft just didn't do enough after that. So I'm not sure if Ryu was confident of that shot or if it was just, hey, who's going to do something next? We're going to play statue chicken with our frame target, and unfortunately we lose. Four to one is a scary scoreline, but Ryu is making it happen so far. Now stepping into the spy side of things with Turnip Boy on the sniper in three, two, one, playing it. Ryu showing tremendous patience on Sniper early on here. Was that a misclick on? Did that he... was a miss. That was a miss. Low light. If oh no! Turnip Boy can notice this. Oh no! There's no. I don't think there's any way he could know. I don't think there's any way he could know. So, th so he still needs to get missions done. But on Aquarium, he's probably going to. That is huge potentially. I can't believe that one of the major positions in Bronze might swing on this. Yeah. Usually. Snipers notice that kind of thing and can bring people back up, but the fingerprint's gone off and we're still low lit. Ryu has timed out this season a little bit, not high, but did not time out at all last year. Generally and speaking, the they do get missions done, so this is really bad for Turnip Boy. There's the contact coming off. You think this is just a drawn onward thing where if you accidentally low light someone, you just sort of shrug and leave them low lit because they probably I... weren't the spy? Yes and no, that's a Kletos thing. Uh, I don't think so in this case, though. I think it's just a misclip. Turnip Boy plays a really tight, disciplined game, um, and I think that's just a really unfortunate misclick. And unfortunately, I think it's going to be when he really, really needs the win. Yeah, it looks like it. This light is not coming back up. We've got 28 on the flirt. We've got the contact done. We've got half a fingerprint, and we are low lit. Ugh. This is, uh, this is tough to watch, knowing what's probably going to unfold here. I, at this point, Turnip Boy doesn't know it, but all you're hoping for is a bunch of sunshine nonsense or some sort of aggressive swap or something, or a, a, a bug you could see even from a low light, something mistimed. But if Ryu plays clean, that's going to be it. Yeah. Second flirt comes off to 79%. Tons of time left to play. And a bear with the camera there showing us the shark, one animal fascinated with another. It's fair enough, not a whole lot's happening. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it's a pretty cool looking shark. Like, it's not cartoony. It's a, it looks real. It's 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 scary. It reminds what, me of... That's what sharks look like. It's the scariest thing since that serpent in Super Mario 3D. Well, not flirt done now. We got contact done. Got half a fingerprint. We have negative suspicion. We're at statues now to pick up the second fingerprint and a pair of inspects, so we're almost done. Yeah. And then just swap. swaps it. There, this is possible, but I don't think Turnip Boy is going to let it be visible for long enough to take the shot. He does not even get a look at it. And Rio has an almost insurmountable lead. What I think is really interesting about that decision is that, again, he has no reason to think he's low lit. So the decision to swap there is actually kind of gutsy. He has no shark cover at that point. Maybe that's the point. There's still a minute 20 left on the clock, so he's thinking, well, you know, I am not going to complete my inspect, so I'm not going to get shot for that. He might not be crediting fingerprint, so if I just swap here, he's only going to have a few seconds to react. But didn't know he was low lit, went for the swap anyway with no cover. 
but it didn't matter. I he mean, was gonna win half regardless. is all the cover he needs. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. He's his own shark, Taft is, yeah. And that's just huge and heartbreaking for Turner Boy to lose that way. And now he has to stage a huge comeback if he wants to take that position in bronze. It's a 5-1 to one score line, but Turner Boy can take solace in the fact that he only needs to pull it back to a draw as he steps into the spy side of Aquarium in 3-2-1 playing it. Yeah, we still don't know exactly what each position in bronze is going to mean because we don't know if the winner in bronze is going to take the auto-promote or risk it in the tournament of placement. Things are working a little differently this year. There's some gamesmanship even after the season is over there. But we know that you want to be higher rather than lower and have more options rather than fewer. Rio is playing again for the win to finish second in bronze. Turnip Boy playing for a win or a draw to finish third. 30% on the first flirt. An attempted reverse drive-by bug is pretty clean, but doesn't take. And Turner Boy has played some pretty slow games, contra their usual style, and Ryu has been up to the task with that patience. So I think this game, you just gotta play a nice, solid, classic Turner Boy game. Yeah, I would agree with that statement. We are going to need a green test on one of the two incoming flirts. But we're able to pick it up on the first one, which is very nice to see, because that means you can really bank on only needing one more. Yeah, that definitely helps. And Ryu still doing that lean with the Amba around the shark. <laughs> the shark lean, this lean you normally only see on library around pillars. Sometimes you I never see it. love that shark lean. It's so yeah, good. Pillars and statues on library. Some snipers, you'll basically see 99% of their leaning is done on library. Uh, you don't see it on aquarium too much either, but... But I get it. I get it. You figure that extra little pixel might matter. Highlight for bar tracking. Not much to say there. Picks up a delegate. Yep, and what's funny about the bar purloin when you pick up the delegate is you actually have no idea if the spy has much intention of doing it or not. Because yeah. why not? Why not? It's very true. We shall see. In position for the final flirt, but... Only about two minutes left to play. There's the flirt getting done, but that's all the progress we have. No fingerprint yet, no statue visit, nothing. Ryu has an exceptionally low civilian shot rate, so I still think you're going to need to do missions here, and you've only got one done. Yeah, he was like laying turnip boy timeout. That's not an easy thing to do. No, it's not. He has forced oh, a weird number of timeouts. Oh, the bug behind the shark was flawless. Yep. I don't care how hard you lean, you're not going to see that. You might be credited for it, though. So mission count's going to come into it. But that's kind of what I mean by a clean game. Where they have to shoot thinking, well, I could have missed it. That's all I know. They could be done. Gets neutral it. Coming back into the bar because of the lack of purloin. I might get bumped back up when we actually take a drink, though. I think the idea is to sort of aid the memory by only actually highlighting them when the minute starts. Yeah, agreed. So Turnip Boy is probably still in trouble here. Even though they played a nice, clean game so far, they have to finish with a minute left. It's going to be delegated into, I guess, contact if you can combine the two. Oh, this might change things. Maybe it's going to be fingerprint. Well, gets it from the briefcase, and it's... And the drink! Clean. Both! Two oh and one! God, Both fingerprints! Boom, boom! And now you contact Let for the win, potentially! Are you, are you really going to credit those? Are you going to credit both of them? That's such a cool move! Still watching the bu still watching for the bug. The the definitely There's doesn't the contact! Happen. He's thinking about it! He takes the shot! But it's not the right one! And Turnip Boy has maybe found a way back into this match. I said they needed a classic, clean, turnip boy spy game. That's exactly what they gave them, and it worked. Much needed win, playing the kind of game you've been playing all season. Beautiful little bug from completely behind the shark. A nice little Ugh. double. You know what that was? That was dual wielding fingerprints. A fingerprint in each hand. I love it. I love it. So good. And now, Turnip Boy's back on the spy side of things. Rio, sorry, Turnip Boy's back on the sniper side of things. 
Rio on the spy in three, two, one, playing it. And this is where you really need to lock in that win. That was yeah. a good win and everything, but it's still aquarium. So spy wins are convert. not that tricky. You need to convert. Exactly. You need to cash this in. You need to win this game. Not able to quite hold off on the take long enough to get a fingerprint off of it, but we're going to get one off the briefcase either way. Oh, it's actually going to finish the briefcase instead of putting it down. Yeah, interesting. Going to really sell that. It's interesting. Both players, by the way, fingerprint quite often. Ryu a little less than Turnip Boy. But I, it's just something you're seeing from better spies. It's just a powerful, powerful mission. Yeah. <laughs> Stepping in for the first flirt. Still with blue book in hand. You can still do something with that. 51% off the close green as well. There is a fingerprint available. Well, it's getting smudged now at the green bookcase. That might be better. You might want that at this point. At these levels, sometimes you specifically don't take the free fingerprint. You take the smudged one on purpose because you know those snipers are all over it, especially with these two spies who love to do it. That's true. But who knows? <laughs> it depends. Maybe you do want the easy one. I don't know. Question. Banana if there's a purloin, if there's a fingerprint hot at green bookcase, Mm -hmm. And you put a book back on green bookcase. Does that smudge it? It should now under the new rules. Huh. It should be it should be any interaction with the bookcase. Okay. Should smudge the fingerprint. I just wonder if it if that counted for yeah. spies as well. Interesting. Yeah, smudge All right. your own fingerprint. Going for the animation test. Oh, oh boy. Yes, Lolit for putting the book back cleanly. And Safety off the on the twin for a second. Oh no, low lights this the spy terrible. again. It's interesting. He actually did the microfilm after the shark went by. I wonder if that's deliberate. I wonder if either A timed it bad, right? Standard mistake, fine. Or okay, B we're back. everything's fine. Okay. Or B deliberately waited for the shark to go by so the, so the sniper would see you and go, okay, threat of microfilm is over, look elsewhere. I don't know. It could have been deliberate there, but yeah, potentially a temporary low light for putting the book back and then maybe thinks better of it, which I think is right. Maybe because they low lit them once already. There's that difficult fingerprint we were talking about, though. It did indeed get smudged, and they do not hit the green. Do not hit the green, but we do hit the green on the transfer. Again, with no shark cover. We do have ponytail cover, though, and uh, it's not quite as good. She's a little smaller, but it's something. You'll take it. A little smaller and a little farther away, but it works out. Three missions done, including the transfer. We have one fingerprint as well, but we only have 35 seconds if we want to find another. We have a lot of options Rio, here still, but not Rio much going time. For bar. I think he saw Amber going by with a drink and is hoping there's a fingerprint hot here. Just goes for the purloin, takes it direct, also takes a bullet and turn it, boy, on a game that we thought there was no way he could find a way to win. He does find a way to win, and he is back in this. It's He's three to five. Yep, and again, he's playing for a draw, so this is not as bad as it looks. And now we're going to go into the insanity that is Tayen, this little box of madness. And look at this. All the statues are exposed. That is not what Turnip Boy was hoping for. No, it is not. Rio feeling very good about this situation, and Turnip Boy needs to make some magic happen in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Again, all you want is that the first and second shoji, those screens, are on opposite sides. Beyond that, there are marginal improvements. I think there are some setups that are a little better than others, and the numbers are starting to bear that out. But the only big jumps in spy win percentages, either way, are when all the statues or all the books are covered, particularly this setup. 
This is bad for Turnip Boy. 34% on the, the first red. flirt. Oh no! That's even worse! No! Cop, you do it! Come on, Turnip Boy! It hurts! Oh. It was. The, the comeback was happening, and then that! So much momentum killed with a single cough. Banana bread. <laughs> oh, that's. That's difficult. If this ends up making the difference, that's going to be tough to stomach. That is going to be tough to stomach, but. Ryu, now on three match points. Turnip Boy has been playing well, but he needs to keep it going for three more, and that's a big ask. Ryo on the spy side has the Soji set up he wants pretty much to the T in three, two, one, playing it. We saw four match points before, and Headhunter came back anyway. That's I not a pad. Oh, it is a pad. It's just not displaying as being on a pad. <laughs> it's fine. Check or fix it. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, that is a patch-related thing, I believe. There are a few small bugs on replays with uh, pad highlights. Uh, there were okay. a few small adjustments, I believe. We saw some interesting bugs where people looked like they were at center statues, but they were actually picking up left or vice versa. Um, so we're okay. Just a little bug in the replays. Okay. This is fine. Speaking of bugs... Speaking of bugs, it's Kane side. It's behind a Soji. It, it's like, it doesn't get better than that. No, it doesn't. Um, you're probably going to be credited with bug anyway, so getting away with the bug. I, everyone knows how excited you get about bugs, Tobo. You don't get as excited about tan bugs because tan bugs are easy to come by, and the sniper's probably going to assume they happened anyway, and that's the case here. It's nice to get. It's nice to get out of the way early, too. It's nice to get a cleaner one rather than a dirtier one, but... Uh, it's not a huge deal to get away with it. Flirt comes off for 34%. In conversation with Double Agent as well, so that could be useful. Don't ignore Toby! Don't don't do it! Rio! 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 Okay. Okay. That was long, but we got there eventually. Here's the contact coming off. It's not red. And in the red. But the Double Agent bails on it. It's not red, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it's called damning with faint praise. Minute and 45 left to play. One completion and 34% on the flirt is where we stand, but we are still in conversation with the selection target. Flirt cooldown expires. A green on the second brings us up to 85. And we still haven't made the crucial decision, which is do we risk going to statues knowing that the bug is so often credited, or do we do something else? We don't have any fingerprints, so it's probably not that. Um, you could still inspect swap. You could potentially microfilm, but it doesn't seem like a good choice. Purloin is usually the way spies go, but you're going to need to be standing somewhere else, probably. Time is definitely starting to tick. We're in here for another timer flirt, but there's only a minute to go, and we're still going to need two missions after this. Banana bread. Fake contact. Oh, one the look inspiration. At, yeah, and only one possible conversation has a real two. That's bad luck. Of the, of the people who were out, one of them was an SDA from the sniper's perspective. That's going to dilute the value of that fake quite a bit. But the people who do have a real, they're going to be that much more likely to be shot too. It's really banking on that. That's true. There's the flirt done. 30 seconds. Here's the, the third red. contact of the game. Finally, this one takes I, 15 I feel, seconds. Feels like a possible Civ shot here, but it looks like he's going to call this over. There's the purloin. It's white. Did it's see it? white. He just saw it. He just the saw shot. it. No! 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 He doesn't get the shot he was looking for. Oh, God. He knew who it was, but he missed the shot. And Rio... Oh, God. Gets to seven. Oh, I don't know if it was going to matter. He was going to have to sweep pub anyway, but look at that. Accidentally shoots Duke in the pomade of his hair. Look at that. Look at that little baby hairdo. It's look at that. Awful. Oh, God. It's just the slightest tilt forward during his animation. 
if Duke had used more hair gel, Turnip Boy wins that game. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, what do you say? Like, what do you even say? There's nothing to say. That's, I guess we can talk about what it means very briefly, apart from heartbreak. Uh, Ryu is going to finish second in bronze. I think Turnip Boy is going to finish maybe as low as fourth now, um, which is nothing to sneeze at. Bronze has been ridiculous this season, and oh, you can God, see yeah. why. Yeah, you can see why. And it felt very, very <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God damn! I don't, we both saw Cleto's. I don't. At the same I don't time. normally acknowledge chat, but this has to be said. Cleto's <laughs> points out Ryu wins by a hair. That's absolutely right. There's no other way to say it. That's what it is. Bronze was disgusting this year. I do want to say that. Rio absolutely earned this. The patience we saw on Sniper, that gallery timeout was deeply impressive. I think it's very gratifying too because I think it was a perfectly smart game plan from Turnip Boy. I think he waited all year to do it. I think he timed it well and it still didn't work. And you just have to credit both players there for one having a good game plan and the other reacting even better in the moment. Unfortunately, it comes down to this. It comes down to whether or not Duke literally slept on his left or right side, uh, <laughs> how many times he combed his hair that morning. But uh, I wouldn't expect anything else from Bronze, which was just a powerhouse of a division all season.